So, so what exactly happened, you know, going from being in this chart-topping band to, to not? <laughs> well, that's a really tough thing. I mean, it's hard becoming a pop star. It's much harder unbecoming a pop star right. because you kind of realise that the reality is is that um, what was happening to you was simply a reflection of what you did, not of who you mm. are. Mm. And I can remember going to the airport and sort of turning up at the VIP bit, going, hello, and they sort of clicked a button on the computer and it was, not anymore, mate, you're yeah. in the queue with everybody else. Oh, wow. I remember sort of feeling outraged at this kind yeah. of... Uh, for this readers, but it was simply I just stopped being in the category of person who got that stuff. Yeah. And that took a bit of getting used to. Yeah. And then also you're faced... You know, I was, you're, in your late 20s, you have more money than you know what to do with. You don't have to work. Mm. Not always a healthy recipe. Mm -hmm. And then you're faced with the prospect of, well, did I just have the best years of my life before I was 30? Mm. And what am I going to do for the rest of my puff? Mm. And it takes a little while, I think, to work that out. Mm. Plus also, the, the, the sort of dramatic changes that happened to us in the course of the, the band's success and also coinciding with the impact of the arrival of HIV and AIDS, which was a catastrophe, the best of times, the worst of times. Processing that took a while. Mm. And then, of course, what you do is you'd head to a nightclub and take ecstasy, and I kind of lost a year of my life in a kind of drugged haze, which mm. started great and then ended disastrously. And it was really in that disaster, picking myself up, mm. that all of a sudden I kind of began to think that I needed to take this stuff somewhere. Sure. This is Premier Christian Radio. Where faith comes to 